are on our way to Wake the Tiger in Bristol. I'm not really sure what it is. One of our friends wanted to go and we said, cool, we're up for it. I wasn't actually working for once in my life. So we are going on a little adventure to find out what Wake the Tiger is. We were off up to Bristol, so join us. <laughs> So we are here in Bristol. This is our hotel room. It's very, very nice, very, very nice. I hope not hubby is just having a shave. I'm about to put my face on. And then we are gonna go to Wake the Tiger. And it turns out it's really handy being a social media person and bringing a ring light because the lighting in here is terrible. So it means I can use that to put my makeup on. So I will see you in a second when I have beautified myself. <laughs> So this is post Wake the Tiger Laura telling you about what we're about to do as if we hadn't done it yet because <laughs> we forgot to film before we went so we are going to go to something called Wake the Tiger. We didn't know what it was going to be, we do now and you will get to see in a minute. Uh, it is in Bristol, it is an immersive art sort of experience uh, and it goes on until about one o'clock in the morning doesn't it and um, it said that we had to dress to do with the change of the moon and the sun and darkness and light, darkness and light stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it was all quite the mystery and um, yeah, join us as we go to Wake the Tiger in our fancy, fancy gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here at Meridian Luxury Homes, we think inside the box so you don't have to. We think why have many rooms in our home that you have to walk in and then out of when you could have everything in a micro suite. Oh. <laughs> Here at Radio Luxury Homes in partnership with Bulagi, we also have many innovative inventions such as the fish and flush. Oh. Yes. Because did you know that there are over 200 times more fecal bacteria on the average kitchen chopping board than there are in the toilet seat? Oh. <laughs> so we have the fish and flush, which is a far more hygienic and space saving alternative. Moving around the apartment, we also have our schmerg. Omni con 5000. It's a con convenient and a con dense unit. <laughs> For all your shower, televisual, heating and cooling needs. <laughs> However, these never need to be turned on because here at Brilliant Luxury Homes in partnership with Mulagi, flown in daily on our specialist drones, we have Future Food. <laughs> Vitamins and coming soon, happiness. <laughs> you could ever need. It comes in pill and powder form, see me after. <laughs> you also caught us at our annual spring clean, burning, because we think <laughs> why clean when you can just burn it all and start again? <laughs> You and thank you so much. I just point out our amazing plasto grass so you never need to leave the house. Our sky bed with 27 hidden pulleys and levers, and our amazing dial of view technology, which comes with four yes, four options. We have air, ocean, nature, and inferno! <laughs> development site now where you can have a look at what we've been building. On your way through please take note that there is one really pesky tree that we can't seem to get rid of but once it's been removed we will replace it with a fully polycarbon composite replica. <laughs> Ooh, we just got a couple of bits. 
Well, I mean, you're all dressed a bit nicer on property view in our game. You knew something I don't, I reckon. Ha ha ha! Not conspiracy theories, conspiracy facts here. Ha. See, I'm just a caretaker around here. I'm not a state agent. I'm not going to try and flog you a flat. They told me I had to stay late to do some spring cleaning, so I found a spring. I'm cleaning it. Anyway, there's some weird going on around here at state. There's a tree just around there. They want us to cut it down to make more room for more of their horrible flats. There's a big protest about it. All hippies came, all dressed like you lot, actually. <laughs> Protesting, same word tree. Well, ever since that, we've had weird broadcasts coming through our radio. Talking all about some kind of festival, something called Saluna, a place called Meridia, something called a dream factory. I don't know what any of those words mean. Do you? No, me <laughs> neither. <laughs> well, I've been trying to join the dots and uh, look behind you. Ah, making sense now, isn't it? All comes down to that dream, isn't it? Obviously a gateway into another world, isn't it? Obviously, dollar. <laughs> right, you're looking at me totally non plus. <laughs> I think it's because I'm just an old caretaker. Oh, no, I'm just the old caretaker. Well, there's one of them protesters just around the corner. They're dressed a lot more like you, they look a lot more like you lot. Go listen to them. Go listen to my.
now this is actually post wait the title. Laurel and Scott. We are having a cup of tea and some cold leftover pizza and some lentil crisps because why not? And uh, we're going to get to bed in a minute. Just soak up the rum. Yeah, <laughs> gin for me, rum for him. But uh, yeah, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So it is Saturday, we are in the car, we have been shopping in Bristol, we got some lovely, lovely things, we popped into Blue Banana and we popped into another goth shop that I completely forgot to film in uh, and I went into Lush but I didn't film that because I got some stuff for my son's birthday and I don't want him to find out what he got so I will share that with you when it's been his birthday. But we are now on our way home through some beautiful countryside, so that is the end of our vlog. Enjoy. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember, people, stay heavy. <laughs>